Welcome to my tutorial on how to use a PowerPoint slide instead of Photoshop to create a Facebook profile picture. First off, you'll need to open up PowerPoint. If you haven't done so, do that now. What you see in front of you is a blank PowerPoint slide. You're going to need to delete the stuff that's going on there, the text boxes and stuff. What I'm doing is deleting them, clicking this kind of fuzzy stuff around it, and then pressing delete on your keyboard. Next, you'll need your actual Facebook profile JPEG. It's a picture file. So you go and you'll open it up from the desktop or a file that you left it in and you should have that ready to go. I'm opening up this one down here. It's a Facebook profile assignment and it's a little too big. So what I'm going to need to do right here, I'll delete that really quick, is make sure it fits these lines right here. You see that? That's the boundaries of the slide. So I take it and I adjust it. See, I'm adjusting it right here, taking the corners, I'm adjusting it, and double checking that it fits in the slide, because whatever's in the slide will be what's printed, otherwise you won't be able to see it. So I'm taking it, making sure it fits, and it's okay if it's a little too stretched, and right in the boundaries. Okay, so, um, also, if you see me click to the right or to the left, you need to constantly remember to do that. Once you're done doing something, click to the right or to the left. Now see this little blank part right here? I need to add pictures, because what does the Facebook profile have? It has pictures. Yeah, I had my Facebook open. So I'm going to look for my sample pictures. I'm doing one for Juliet, from Romeo and Juliet. So this is me looking up pictures of Juliet. And actually there's a cute one. Let's see. As these load right here. I kind of like square ones or a little bit larger ones. You click it. Make sure you actually get to it. Let it load for a second. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take it and drag it onto your document. So once it loads, it's taking a little while, I'm just going to take that file and drag it onto my actual project. It's going to take a little few seconds if your computer is a little slow, but there it is. And it's way too big, so again, we adjust it to however we want. I want that as my Facebook profile picture, so that'll fit into that top left box. I'm adjusting it. It doesn't need to be perfect because, again, it sometimes doesn't get exactly to the dimensions you want. So I'm making it bigger. I'm making it a little smaller, fitting it in, messing with it until I want it exactly to that size. And I click to the left because that means I'm done with it. If you don't do that, you're going to drag things around. Now I'm going to need maybe some text boxes because we have some blank things like interests and about me's and likes. And I'm going to adjust my size. So I, what I did was I pressed insert text box and then I just start typing into it. Okay, so here's some interest. This is when she was born, what she's interested in. Also maybe some likes. I'm going to make her birthday that one right there. And then we'll get to some likes. And the, all of this is not going to fit, so we're going to make that a different font. Okay, so I don't need that. I'm kind of done with it. What I am going to need is more pictures because let's see, a Facebook profile wall has people you're talking to. This one has people that you're talking to back and forth, back and forth. Oh, here we go. Back to this. Back to fitting my, um, my interests and likes and just kind of filling that out. Remember, this is just kind of like a little bit of a preview. You want to put things that your character, you think your character would have or would, would be like. And I want you to notice all the stuff around it. You have a likes page, you have an ad spot, you have part for um, statuses, you have parts for people talking back and forth to each other. Remember, the parts at the bottom of the page happen first, and the top parts are the most recent. So I clicked off to the left to make sure I was done with that. Now I'm going to need some stuff. Okay, I'm going to need some stuff for these little conversations that are going on. Let's see. I'm going to search for, the first thing I want is Juliet's nurse. Oh, well, no, I wanted Romeo, and that's obviously not Romeo. So if you don't get Romeo, <laughs> put Romeo Shakespeare, and that'll, that, that'll definitely get you going there. And I'll take a picture that I like. This is from Zeffirelli's Romeo and Juliet. I'm clicking this little dude, and I'm going to drag him onto my page, just like I did before. Adjust him however I want. Make them a lot smaller because these boxes are tiny. And I want him onto my second to the last one because she didn't, he, she and Romeo did not meet until a little bit later. I'm going to make that right there. Click off to the left. And I'm actually going to go search for Juliet's nurse. 
So this is searching for Julia Ness. Let's find a picture that we like. Now click. Let's see. That is a good one. Oh, there's an even better one. This one right here. Let it load. Click, drag to our document. Let it load. Then adjust the picture again. Make sure it fits in this little bottom box. And then click off to the left or to the right, either one. And then I'm going to need some things that they're saying. So I'm going to press insert text box. And so I added a text box where I wanted it, started typing. I'm going to say, Juliet, your mother needs you. I'll type that up a little bit. Maybe add a little like winky face or smiley face, maybe even angry face somewhere if I want to. And then adjust it because that looks too big. So we're going to make it a little bit smaller so everything can fit in. And I'm, once I'm done with that, I'm going to click off to the left once I'm happy with it. Might even adjust how where it's positioned to because sometimes these are a little too high or a little too low. I'm going to add another text box for Romeo. And I'll say something that he says because he, once they met, you know, maybe they'll say like it was nice meeting you. A little winky face. Okay. Want to make that smaller, of course. Good. Clicking off to the left. Let's add maybe one more character after this. Hmm, let's see. I should probably add Tybalt. Let's do Tybalt. Okay. Tybalt. We're going to find a picture that we like of him. So one more time. And you can do this the entire time. You're just going to add pictures, add text boxes, add pictures, add text boxes. And you make sure you adjust them however you want. The key to this always is to click off to the left or the to the right. If you don't do that, you will be clicking the picture behind it. What you're doing is essentially adding pictures on top of each other. And if you click one, it's going to mess it all up and you're going to kind of adjust things not the way you don't want to. Okay, so I'm clicking the picture that I want. I want this one right here. And I'm going to drag them back onto my document as, you, as you've seen already three times before. Here we go. Dragging him. There he is. Adjusting it to make it much smaller so it can fit my Facebook profile picture or the Facebook um, little profiles in those tiny boxes to show us who's talking to who. And then I'm going to click off to the left once I'm happy with that. There we go. And then insert text box. Adding the text box in and then starting to write something that he would say to Juliet. Probably really angry at her that he sees Romeo speaking on her wall. You know, on Facebook, you can see that stuff. So, we're adding this in for him. It's way too big. And so, we're going to adjust the size. We're going to select this all in a second. I'm going to make a little angry face at her because he's angry. Okay. And then, so angry face. There you are. Select it all. Making it into a much smaller font. And it fits. Perfect. Click off to the left. And it's missing a few things. So what I'm going to do now is we have a little section that has friends. Okay. I'm going to actually take these people. I'm going to make a new one. And I'll show you in a second how to do this. And I want to add these in. Okay. I'm going to add them in so that they're all, we have little icons for each of the friends. So I'm going to add this third one. Maybe right there. But you know what? I'm going to show you how to do this the easiest way. I'm going to delete that for a second. You select it. Press copy, and then I'm going to want it right here in that space. I'm going to press edit and paste. So I'm going to paste it, and then add it into that little space right there. Okay, so that, again, that was select, then edit into copy, and then edit into paste. And you paste them wherever you want. And the last thing I want is I might want an add in here. And this add, let's see, if we're thinking of Romeo and Juliet, we probably want some daggers or some swords. Um, the swords are called rapiers. Rapiers, and we're finding, you can do a fencing sword. I found one, I kind of like this one right here. I'm going to add that in, so I'm going to let that load. Okay, here it goes. And then click it, drag it to the document, wait for that to load. Sometimes it takes a bit, and still too big, so I'm going to adjust the size of that. I'm going to want it in the corner by this add section. Click off to the right, to the left, and I'm going to add a text box. 
There we go. Here's a text box, and I can add in something like rapiers for sale. R A P I E R S for sale. Still too big. Just the size. Maybe make it bold. I'm going to need to adjust the size one more time. Wonderful. Click off to the right or the left, and there you go. So here's a little bit of a preview of what your project should look like. Thanks for watching.